In this video, we will look at another classic problem from a linked list and it's called finding the middle node of the linked list. So again, uh, we will use some concept which we have already seen while we, we were calculating the kth node from the end of the linked list. So uh, we will use the two pointer concept and uh, this concept is very useful while solving different linked list problems. Uh, there can be uh, other solutions also like if you have to find the middle of a linked list and I have taken here the even number of nodes and odd number of nodes both cases so one um, way could be that you iterate through this complete list until you reach the end and you keep track of the count of nodes so in this case you will find that the count is 6 so uh, you can divide that by 2 you can get 3 so 0 1 2 3 you can treat this as the middle node in this case uh, there is not a unique middle node 3 and 4 both are in the middle but in the odd case we have a unique middle node two nodes on this side two nodes on this side so that was one approach but uh, other approach would be to use the two pointer concept so uh, let's say we have this linked list and we start two pointers again a slow and a fast pointer so while finding the kth node what we had done we had advanced the one of the pointers by k steps so first pointer was here and then we started moving both the pointers together so this was the head node and it was somewhere k distance apart the first pointer and when we move now uh, both of them one by one we reach p1 reaches the end first and then p2 will be at a distance of k from the end and that's how we calculated in this way in this case also we are having two pointers but uh, we are uh, moving them in different ways so here the goal is to find the middle node we don't know what is the middle node what is the position of the middle node so this was for general kth node uh, irrespective of number of nodes even if it has 10 nodes and let's say k was 3 we have to find third node from the end if it was 100 node also we had to find third node from the end so we had advanced that pointer by k steps but here this node will change depending on what is the length so if we have uh, 10 nodes roughly we will be pointing to fifth node if we have 100 nodes roughly we will be pointing to 50th node so uh, here we don't know what is the value of k so what we do we know that uh, every time if we advance one of the pointers by one step slow one and the faster by two steps so both are here together after one unit of time slow will be at a position of one fast will be at a position of two next step slow will come here fast will again be at point four so every time it's moving two steps and the slow one is moving one step so when it's two it's four now in the next step when slow will come to three fast will move to six so now you can see that fast is always double of slow the position of fast is always double of slower slower one that's uh, that's how when uh, the faster one reaches the last node fast reaches either here the last node or the null depending on whether it's even or odd it can either reach here the last node or the end so we will stop when fast becomes null that is here or the next of fast becomes null and whatever is the slow pointer pointing to that will be the middle so if this was 100 this will be roughly 50 because every time you can see it from here it takes one step, the slower one, faster one takes two steps. So that was our target, finding the 50th node. So that's how we can do it. So let's run through it once. So we have slow here, fast here. And our check will be that while fast is there and fast next is there. Then what we will do, slow equal to slow next fast equal to fast next next 
and when this loop ends we return the value of slope also you can have a base case that if uh, fast is null or, or head node is null that is there is no node then return some value let's say minus 1 now both are here fast is there and fast next is there so move slow by one step so slow comes here fast by two steps so next next so fast is here again fast is valid not null and fast next is not null so again move slow by one step and fast by two steps next next now fast is not null but fast next is null so we stop here and return whatever is the value of slope that is 3 similarly you can run through example on 6 node so let's say it was 6 and then null so here fast is not null fast next is also not null so move fast here 2 steps and slow here now fast is null so return this value so when there are 6 nodes it will return 4 when there are 5 nodes it will return 3 uh, you can uh, tweak your solution if the requirement is that uh, return first of the middle nodes in the case of even we always have 2 middle nodes so you can adjust your code depending on that now let's uh, run through this example in a code and we will see so we have this uh, linked list with 6 nodes and we have one middle node function which takes head of the list as input and then we will find the middle of this linked list and we will pass the first node pointer which will be the head and then print its value so let's implement it so the base case is that if head is null then return some uh, dummy value let's say minus one otherwise we will create two nodes both are pointing to head and the loop will be that while fast is not null and fast next is not null then slow equal to slow next fast equal to fast next next and when this loop ends slow will be pointing to the middle node so return slow data and now let's uh, see what this prints so it prints 4 now uh, let's try with 5 nodes so it has now just 5 nodes and now it should print 3 so it prints 3 and if you pass null it will return right from here if the list has zero nodes if the list has just one node then what will happen slow and fast are both pointing to that node but fast is there fast next is not there so it will return the first node itself so i hope this was clear this two pointer concept is very useful and it can be there uh, in multiple problems and you have while you are stuck and uh, you may think of this that can I solve it with two pointers and maybe that sometime you will get some idea so uh, that's all for this video we will come with some other problem related to linked list in the next video